Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to do something different, something that I've never done before. I've done steak and cheese egg rolls, but I've never done Southwestern egg rolls. These are absolutely delicious. So we're gonna hop right into the video and I'm starting out with some chicken tenders that I'm just gonna season with some paprika, some garlic powder, some onion powder, some black pepper, some poultry seasoning, and some ground cumin. Um, and then I just, um, my oil of choice today is grapeseed oil grapeseed oil and i'm just gonna um sprinkle some oil on top of my tendons after i season them and i'm just gonna mix them around all the seasonings together with the chicken um and let that marinate you don't have to let it marinate for long a long time just let it sit for like 10 minutes this also works good if you want to go and get a rotisserie chicken or if you have leftover chicken just go ahead and skip this step and just start shredding your chicken up but if you don't have any chicken just go ahead we're gonna saute our chicken we'll sear our chicken um and i have my stove on a medium heat and again i'm using grapeseed oil and i'm just gonna sear both sides and then continuously flip the chicken until it's done some pieces were smaller than others so of course those cook faster so i just removed those from the pan if they were done first um but you just want to cook your chicken until it's done and then again we're gonna i just went ahead and sliced diced and and shredded the chicken because i just felt like y'all know i'm about like ratio like i really like a good ratio in my food so when i take a bite of these egg rolls i want in every single bite a piece of chicken a piece of corn a piece of bean like i wanted the ratios to be right so for me i just thought if i shred the chicken if i dice the chicken and if i like you know cut the chicken like in all different size pieces i would i will get each you know y'all know what i'm trying to say so i don't know that was just my logic behind it so i kind of just was like dicing real small and tasting as i go it was absolutely delicious and then i was like just shredding the chicken just just having fun playing with it you can cut it to however big you want to it's really your preference this is just what i did but once i cut up all my chicken i went ahead and placed it in a bowl and set it to the side because we're, we're not gonna be using the chicken just yet um but again set it to the side and then we can move on to assembling our uh what we're gonna stuff our egg rolls with so again starting off with grapeseed oil i have my stove on a medium heat then i put in one fourth cup of diced red peppers and then about two tablespoons of diced jalapeno peppers you can you don't have to use that that is completely optional and then i uh diced up about two to three spring roll a uh, spring um scallions uh, green onions whatever spring onions whatever you want to call them um and i'm just going to mix that around for about two minutes two minutes later i am then going to add in one cu cup of roasted corn guys you can use regular corn if you want to or you can use the southwestern corn i just wanted to use the um roasted corn that's just my preference um and then i'm going to add in one cup of black beans guys please drain the juice from the black beans from the can just drain the juice out and then add you know the one cup of black beans um and then after we mix this around for about two minutes we're going to add in one bag of of spinach i just blanch my spinach i use fresh spinach but you can also use frozen spinach if you're using fresh spinach just make sure you chop it up because you don't want the big pieces of spinach and egg rolls just chop it up a little bit um and then we're gonna uh, mix the spinach around incorporate that with the other vegetables and um mix that around for about two minutes and then we're gonna go ahead and add the chicken in guys if you are vegetarian just skip that step if you want to make some with with chicken or without chicken and if you have leftovers from thanksgiving i'm wondering i didn't have any but if you have some turkey meat try to use turkey meat if you're trying to get rid of the turkey um but all i did next was add in one pack of taco seasonings mix and then a half a cup of water mix that around and then i cut my stove off and added in some mozzarella cheese just so that the the mixture can have some cheese in it and then we're going to put some more cheese on it when we are assembling our egg rolls but that's pretty much it you can also taste it at this point to see if you need any other seasonings i didn't everything was nicely seasoned everything smelled good so we are now ready to assemble our egg rolls so starting out i'm using um some egg roll wrappers that i got from my local grocery store and i'm gonna place them as you can see like uh diagonally and then i'm just gonna place all the filling in the middle 
I'm making my egg rolls pretty big because I ate this for dinner, but you can do them smaller if you're doing like an appetizer. And all you want to do is add some more cheese, use cheese, if, whatever cheese you want to. Um, I use Monterey Jack. And then I'm just going to roll it like how Chipotle does their burritos because I felt like that was easier for me. Um, so I'm just going to roll it like how Chipotle does it. And then you want to make sure you have a little, uh, maybe like a little cup of water next to you because when you finish rolling them to secure cure the egg roll wrapper at the end you want to add some water to the tip of the egg roll and then that acts like a like an adhesive or a paste so that your egg rolls are very secure now it did take me about three times to really get down pack my egg rolls and then psa to all my ladies who wear long nails like me when you are rolling egg rolls, you have to be careful because it's easy for us to puncture the egg roll wrappers and then it's just ruined after that. I mean, you could double wrap it, but I didn't want mine double wrap. But so just be careful if you wear long nails when you're rolling the wrapper because you know it's fragile so you don't want to puncture it like me like I did several times actually um and just be careful but if you don't wear nails this is you are good to go um but this is just me showing you again how I rolled it and you want to make sure you roll it really tight you don't want a lot of like room in there you want to roll it tight but not too tight because again it is fragile so you don't want it to to bust open and then you got to restart or you got to double wrap it um but once you do all that roll all your egg rolls i roll this mixture made about 12 remember i made mine big so if you are doing them smaller you can do like 24 for an appetizer um but then you just are ready now to fry them and i will be using vegetable oils to fry them not grapeseed oil and I have my stove on a medium high heat and it takes nothing for them to fry. I think I didn't really time it, but I, I, I was standing there. It felt like my spirit said I was standing there for three minutes. Um, so I flipped them once they turn like a golden brown color. And then I let them uh, get like that golden brown color on the other side. And then I placed them on my plastic plate that I put a napkin on top. So all the oil can drain out. And that was pretty much it. Y'all, these are so easy to make just like the steak and cheese egg rolls but i don't know these might be my favorite egg rolls that i've ever made um they're really really good but again i'm just showing you that i'm draining it it looked really beautiful golden brown color they're nice and huge because i'm making these for my dinner and um we are now ready for presentation time because we all know presentation is key so all i'm gonna do is cut open i'm gonna cut in half at a diagonal um in a diagonal shape so y'all can see what is going on inside? Y'all don't see this? Beautiful, right? Um, I'm going to cut open some and then I'm going to leave some whole um, just for presentation purposes. And I couldn't even wait until I finished the presentation. I was like, let me just get one. Let me just get one bite. But I'm just now just playing around with it. Which one looks better with what for picture purposes. And then I'm going to take some um, secret sauce, Hidden Valley Ranch. I ain't never seen this sauce before, so I wanted to try it. And I just just creatively just sprinkled it and then added some parsley. And y'all see how beautiful and cheesy and gooey and gooey is. <gasps> I'm about to go downstairs and heat me up some more. It was so good, y'all. Y'all have to try this. If y'all don't try this one, try the steak and cheese egg roll. Just try the egg roll. Try a egg roll absolutely delicious but that's pretty much it guys be sure to like comment and subscribe make sure you guys are washing your hands and i will see you guys at my next video